Good morning. I'm at Glade Run Lake in Middlesex Township in southern Butler County on this beautiful snowy morning. We've been lucky this year with snowfall. So if you don't like snow, we've been snow free most of January. I love it whenever the snow lays on the trees. And exactly one month ago today, temperatures plummeted into the single digits and then by afternoon it was in the negatives. That was like right before Christmas, so that put a damper on any Christmas traveling. I plan on hiking two miles to stay on the hiking trail here. The trail is not a loop, it's an out and back trail. Winds are going to pick up later on and we might get some snow flurries later. Wednesday will probably be a different story weather-wise. They're watching for a potential weather winter storm. Over there's the dam. Glade Run is dammed up to create Glade Run Lake. I did a video on the first day of fall back in September. I explained the history, so if you go under my hiking playlist on my YouTube channel, you can go ahead and check out the video. I am standing on this platform which is in the middle of the lake. And here you can get a bird's eye view of the lake. Looks like the dark sky just south of me. Looks like that's a snow, little snow band. So we will have snow showers on and off throughout the day. Thankfully, we're not going into a deep freeze. The temperatures are going to remain in the 30s. Along the shore, there are a lot of benches. You can sit, have a lunch, fish, or just relax. And up on the hill, there's a picnic shelter. This is a great place to have lunch. The docks are up on shore during the winter. They remove them from the water to prevent ice and snow damage. I am at the trailhead. When you start out on the trail, there's a slight elevation change. So you just want to watch your step. Watch out for exposed roots and rocks. Please keep in mind the trail is muddy, so you want to make sure you wear proper footwear. And when you start out on the trail, you will hear roosters crowing, and that's because Freedom Farms is next door. This creek is named Glade Run. And here in the trail we come to a little bridge. Watch the bridge is slick, especially after a snowfall. The 
this is a perfect day for winter hiking. Temperature is 32 degrees and there's about two inches of snow on the ground. I don't like the snow too deep and I don't like it icy, but this is just ideal. So I couldn't resist coming out this morning. I'm moving right along. When hiking along this trail, there is some noise because nearby Route 228 and Route 8 are nearby. So you'll hear the hum of traffic from those roads. Shortly into the trail, there's a small grove of evergreen trees. These almost look like Christmas trees. They're so pretty with the snow laying on the branches. Hard to believe Christmas was almost a month ago. This month is flying by. Right here we come to a split in the trail. You can either go left or right. Well, I'm going to go right because I'm going to walk around the lake and I will come back this way. It just goes in one giant loop. Here's a nice view of the lake. It looks like the sun's trying to peek out. There are benches along the trail. Looks like a thin layer of ice is forming on top of the water. Since this section of the trail is known for being soggy and muddy, there's these wooden planks that are along the trail. And I believe these would were put in by a local Boy Scout troop. And in the warmer months, I highly recommend insect repellent because this area looks like it could be really buggy, especially since it's so close to the water. But today we don't have to worry about any bugs. Right in here, the trail is really muddy. I have my snow boots on. That way I'm able to slog through the mud. Just wear proper footwear and you'll have no problems. Here's another nice long walkway. Gets us out of the mud. Watch, she's maybe a little bit slick. Right here looks like a tributary that feeds into the lake. That explains the sogginess. You notice the area here is very flat. That's because this is a floodplain. Floodplain means an area is prone to flooding. And the lake is right through the brush. Here we have somewhat of a clearing. And 
and I can hear the water gurgling under the plank. This is one of the many tributaries that feeds into the lake. I'm not sure what species of tree that is, but it looks like the perfect Christmas tree. It's the way it's shaped. Just need some ornaments, tinsel or garland, lights, and it would make the ideal Christmas tree. This is everything the word Christmas tree stands for. And this has been a great day to hike and do some photography. I, conditions are ideal for both. End of the trail. The trail ends here at Sandy Hill Road. I'm going to go ahead and head back the way I came. Just going to enjoy walking through this winter wonderland. And this trail is about a mile and a half one way. So all together round trip it's a three mile hike and the elevation changes are far and few between. So this is a great hike for beginners. A snowfall like this would be perfect for Christmas. First of all, the roads are wet. You don't have to worry about travel issues. The snow is not too deep. It's easy just to sweep off your car or off your driveway and it's not bitter cold. So if you want a white Christmas, let's hope we get snow like this in the future on Christmas morning. Because let's face it, Christmas is stressful enough and having to worry about the weather just adds on the stress. Fall meets winter. We have fall leftovers here. Another hazard of winter hiking is that the roots are covered in snow so you really have to watch your step. I prefer winter hiking over summer hiking. That's because it's not humid. It seems like the older I get, I just can't take the humidity and there's no bugs. And as long as you're dressed properly, dressed in layers, wearing proper footwear, keeping your head cover, you'll be just fine. Another bonus of winter hiking, you can see sights without brush being in the way. There's no leaves on the trees, so you can get better views of water. Or, for example, at Moraine State Park, you can see the beaver dam from the bike trail when there's no brush. Right now, we're under a small band of snow. Temperature is about 32 degrees, so I don't think the roads are going to get too bad. Now, if it's coming down really heavy, then yeah, the roads will become snow covered. But if it's just light flurries, travel should be okay. And despite there being snow in the ground, you still want to check for ticks whenever you get home. I'm almost finished with my hike. I hiked around three miles. It's a mile and a half one way, so it's three miles round trip. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.